So we're now at the stage we need to start thinking about uh, diseases that might be coming into eyeseed rape and what damage they might do. At this stage of the year, we're talking about really two diseases. We're talking about FOMA uh, and light leaf spot. So we're in a crop of Aquila here. Um, I think it's got moderate, decent enough sort of levels of FOMA resistance. So we want to be looking at um, how much FOMA would be in this crop to justify it getting a spray. And I think what you need to first of all know is what you're actually looking for in terms of FOMA. So you're looking for that grey sort of circular lesion, most instances, that might have those black spots in it. Um, also, you want that to be occurring on, on those smaller leaves because it's, it's basically as that can grow down into the stem that is, is really what's going to cause that of an issue later on in the season. So how much is going to be there? You're talking about 10 to 20%. Now, that's a bit of a range, but you need to look at the variety that you're looking at. You need to look at the, the growth of that canopy. Small leaves, you want to be looking at a lower threshold. Bigger leaves, a higher threshold. A more resistant variety, a higher threshold. A more susceptible variety, a lower threshold. And take it from there. So that 10 to 20%, there's a reason for that based on those different things. That disease, it may get in at this stage of the year. If it doesn't, brilliant. If it does, it'll cause damage later on, and that's going into next year. So if we do need to control it, we're going to be looking at something that is going to be containing proline or bioconazole because that's probably what you're looking at from, for activity at this stage. Okay, so this leads me down to the second disease, light leaf spot. Um, and this is a disease that we tend not to really see at this stage of the year. Doesn't mean it's not there, but it, we tend not to see it. And that's why I would say that we need to monitor, we need to look and see, is it there? We may not see it directly in the field when you come into the field, and that's why we'd actually recommend that you, you take a sample and take a representative sample from throughout the field, put it in a Ziploc bag, leave it for 48 hours, and then assess to see if you can see the disease. What you should be looking for are what looks like grains of salt, okay? Again, sort of a threshold, uh, 10 to 20%. The resistance ratings, we do have some differences in the varieties in terms of resistance, but we can't always rely on that because this is a disease that come springtime, if it's there, will very quickly multiply up, okay? So if you are seeing it at this stage of the year, you should be thinking about putting out a fungicide to control it. Again, it's going to be a proline-based type product, a prothio-based product. Um, and if you require some sort of growth regulation, something that might contain tebuconazole, such as Pizarro, for example, would be a good sort of strategy.